Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore back again for another review for Mr. Wes Keen of Sauce International. Now he's located up in Etobicoke in the uh, Toronto, Ontario, Canada area. Make sure you check out my first review. I started off with their original, the Red Sauce, and uh, watch that review. And then we're going to continue on today with the Hot Sauce, Flavor and Heat. And as you can see there, it is made with delicious apple cider vinegar. Now this company prides itself on uh, making some very healthy, they create healthier, tastier products for the world. So get saucy with these products. All right, here's what it says about the hot sauce. Hot sauce is the same as red sauce without the sweet elements. The more, you, more of it you eat, the hotter it gets. It's perfect for people with diabetes because no sugar is added to the product. A perfect alternative pizza sauce, great sauce for jambalaya. Make saucy hot chicken wings and ribs. Mix into meatballs, brush onto shrimp, fish, and seafood. Hot sauce is the only sauce in the marketplace that has accumulative heat. All of our products are 100% natural, non-GMO, gluten-free, soy-free, sulfite-free, peanut-slash-nut-free, dairy-free, and vegan. All right. So if you're into that, uh, you're going to love these products. It says on the side of the bottle, use as a marinade and or dipping sauce on beef, chicken, ribs, uh, vegetarian dishes, fish, seafood, shrimp, oysters, mussels, burgers, hot dogs, nachos, eggs, soups, chili, stew, pasta, tacos, pizza, woo, or anything else your heart desires. That covers everything, doesn't it? All right. Um, let me read the ingredients on this one, guys. Uh, we start off with Ontario grown tomatoes, apple cider vinegar, basil, onion, black pepper. So notice the molasses and the brown sugar are not in this one. And then he has the W sauce uh, containing vegetable broth and spices. Now, I did mention this on my first review. Wes was telling me that his W sauce is his vegan and gluten free Worcestershire sauce. All right. So it's not going to have any fish sauce in it. Sea salt, blended hot peppers, and turmeric all right very low sodium locally produced this is a tomato based sauce barbecue and dipping sauce so this is the hotter version of the red sauce look at that color guys nice thick consistency all right let's go ahead and check out the aroma on the hot sauce and once again, what I get, just like I did with the red sauce, the original is those tomatoes, those locally grown, Ontario grown tomatoes. It smells so clean, so rich, savory. Definitely get a blast of tomatoes. Now this one, you're not getting any sweetness, so you're just getting that tomatoes and the savoriness and, and also pick up on the basil and the onions and the black pepper that's in here. I love that combination doesn't smell particularly hot or spicy. It just smells savory and um, super, super tomatoey, which I love. All right, let's go ahead and show you what this one looks like. Hot sauce. I don't know exactly what type of peppers he's using, but he's using a blend of several. All right, here we go. Hot sauce. Mm, wow, rich, savory, tomatoey. Love the spices, those herbs, the basil, the onion, the black pepper. This in here, really, really good. Now this one's really not particularly hot uh, to me. Um, definitely get some spiciness there, but it um, definitely don't. You're not getting any of the sweetness from the red sauce. But this was equally as delicious. It just depends on what you like. Um, if you're looking something with more tomatoes, more flavor, and no sweet, and then a little bit of heat, um, then this one's really, really good. I think it builds a little bit. I know, though, I think the more that you would eat on this one, you could definitely, uh, you know, it's going to get hotter. So I definitely feel it growing right now. Uh, but just to give it a rating right off the bat, I think um, this one's probably just a solid 3 out of 10 for heat on my 1 to 10 scale. Definitely has some heat. I think the more and more you eat of this, it's definitely going to build, just like he says, accumulative. But the flavor, 
just outstanding. So fresh, so clean tasting. And those tomatoes, it's just amazing. No tomato paste in here. And I think he's using a very high percentage um, of tomatoes in, in his sauces, but just super delicious. Really, really good, guys. And here's what I did with this one, guys. I just put this on my homemade non-pizza, and it was fantastic. Uh, so I think this, you know, would be good in just about anything, just like we read before. Anything, burgers, hot dogs, pizza, anything. This is amazing. Really, really good stuff. So a solid 3 out of 10 for heat is what I would give it. But definitely building, building just a little bit, but that's where it lands for me. But this flavor is outstanding. Great job. Well, super, super delicious product. Guys, these are highly recommended. So check this company out. You can find them at redsauce.com. Link will be down in the description. All right, check these products out and get saucy. All right, Wes, thank you so much for sending them. I greatly appreciate it. And guys, thanks for watching. We have a whole lot more to do from this company. So stay tuned. And until the next time, make sure you enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.